all pressure on Maine. Make, force them to put it on the floor and go to the rim. They've got to get uh, Maine in foul trouble. They're a little short-handed today, so they've got to also they've got to get the ball to short corner and get it into the poke. On, have only played some some troubles to the Black Bears offensively. Zell Darwich drives in, draws the foul, and gets it to go on the finger roll as he heads 315 since they've scored a basket from the floor. And the quick little jumper around and down it spins finally for Benzizi. Over that one hump of being able to close out and finish a game. Ball worked into easy, going against a cherry, pulls up a little baby hook and he has it. Back to back buckets for Vinci's. Taking on TJ Dillashaw, who's the bantamweight champion. If you're looking for excitement, you got it on ESPN Plus. Speaking of excitement, there's some for Teron Moss, who gets the steal and the bet. Frustration on the sidelines for Stony Brook. Well, Maine's right now battling them on the boards. Moss buries the three, nothing but net five points. I remember Coach Gallagher from Hartford saying he was a little surprised, a little stunned a little bit with how aggressive and tough Maine had played them. Back to back threes, eight straight points for Teron Moss and a timeout will be called but on the... Knowing that they've got an opportunity in this situation. He works his way towards the dish. Moss swinging around, Ashley. Pump fake, and then buries the three-pointer just a tad bit towards the corner. Moss, he's hit three from long range today, but instead goes into Fleming. Backing down Garcia, deep two, and easy hits it, tickling the twine. And again. Actually, he's already hit one three-pointer today. Feed it into Fleming, who gets a decent look, but a little too strong. The rebound put back is up and good. Getting, there, getting his third foul with a minute and a half left to go in the first half, especially with a 13-point lead. Easy for three, buries it again. And that's the big difference between these two. What kind of adjustments Coach Bowles made at halftime? Looks like they're gonna be looking to the three-point shot a little bit more. Quick answer back, Sergio L. Darwich, who now has six and a half. Larson over to easy, 15 on the shot clock. L. Darwich contested three, got it! Five points. Great system in place. And as this team begins to understand it, buy into it, um, they'll, they'll be all right in this conference. And that's going to the drive in, a little too strong for Mel Darwich, gets his own rebound. He's got Moss open for a corner three, and he's got it. Behind him and, and got a dish pass for an easy layup. Trying to get the backdoor pass. Fleming does re-corral it and gets it up for the basket, even though it looked like Stojkovic playing sparingly here as of late after dealing with an injury. A three-pointer will hit, and the chance for a four-point play. That ball just danced on the iron and finally fell down to a quick three-pointer, or at least get a quick basket taken over. 10 seconds, this one up, and El Darwich will get the basket. Bucket will come at seven, point seven point. rebound. Still trailing by six. Deep three-pointer, Moss hits it right before the buzzer. Rebound, still trailing by six. Deep three-pointer, Moss hits it right before the buzzer, which will mean the Black Bears will end the game